time to wrap this series up. This is the final video on the whole series of the soda can stove with the wick. And we're going to have some final thoughts here. But before we do that, I just really want to say thank you. Um, lots of videos are out there on YouTube. Uh, thousands of them get put up every day. And the fact that uh, you stopped and watched mine, uh, I can't express how much that means to me. And I hope you found them helpful. I thought I hope you found them entertaining. Uh, I want to thank you for all of the encouraging comments that you guys made and uh, the thumbs up and the likes. I I appreciate those and 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 I got 14 subscribers now. <laughs> I I didn't think I'd get any. So 14 is a lot for me. Um, so thank you. I, I appreciate that more than I can express. I, I, I truly do. And, and I'm planning on doing some more uh, videos on DIY gear. I'm going to do some product reviews and, and, and just probably some general whimsy in there to, to boot. And I hope you enjoy it and I hope, uh, I hope we continue to share. Uh, there was an original question I posed about these stoves and that was would adding a wick of some sort uh, improve the performance of a do-it-yourself soda can stove uh, and there's some answers to that question but I think I need to give you some disclaimers first and the first one is uh, these tests were done under very controlled circumstances um, there was no wind and wind affects alcohol stoves dramatically. Um, the room temperature, and, and because of that, the water temperature was pretty constant. It only varied a degree or two uh, from, from test to test. And I only used one cook kit. I only used the Esbic Trekker kit, so um, that made a difference too. So you change the ambient temperature, you change the temperature of the water, you add wind, you use a different size pot, you use a different pot stand that's a different height. Uh, you know, performance can, can vary dramatically from that. And so I just want to get that out up front. So having said all that, what can we say about, uh, about these tests? Well, first off, uh, the Trangia, it weighs 65 grams when it's empty, and depending on which one you weigh, um, the plain stove, that weighed 10 grams, and this one weighed 11, and that's the fiberglass wick, and the, and the carbon fiber wick stove weighed 12. Um, so um, quite a difference in weight. On average, you could say the, the soda can stoves weigh about a sixth of what the commercial Trangia does. Uh, bloom times. Well, one of the original things was, will a wick help help the stoves bloom faster? It was all over the board. Uh, I can't really say that it did. Um, you know, the Trangia, the plain stove, and the fiberglass wick stove all bloomed within a second or two of each other. And the, the carbon felt stove took the longest time to get going uh, of all of them. Um, so having a wick, I don't think improved the bloom time at all uh, and in one case it made it made it longer uh, boil times the plain stove and the fiberglass wick stove if you look on the chart they were basically a tie uh, the plain stove on average took seven minutes two seconds to boil two cups of water um, the fiberglass stove took seven minutes and five seconds the carbon felt wick stove uh, that averaged eight minutes and 14 seconds and the Trangia averaged nine minutes and 23 seconds. So uh, when you consider that the fastest boil time was with the plain stove, adding a wick did not improve boil time. In fact, it actually made it longer. It lengthened it. Um, so what about fuel efficiency? Well, the Trangia uh, that held the record for efficiency. Uh, it uh, averaged uh, 29 mLs, uh, bringing two cups of water to a boil. The fiberglass wick stove used the most fuel. It, it used 36.80 mLs on average to boil two cups of water. So um, fuel efficiency um, was kind of uh, an interesting relationship. I would, I would call it an inverse relationship to the boil time. 
And, and so I expressed it in, in this graph um, two ways. One is um, time to boil, percent low to high, and the other is fuel, percent low to high. So let me, let me explain that for you. So taking, taking the Trangia, the Trangia had the lowest fuel consumption, which is what that 0% is that you see down there at the bottom. Uh, but it took 25% longer than the plain stove to boil two cups of water. So that's why you see the line with 25%. Now, if we go to the plain stove, well, the plain stove had the fastest boil time, and that's why it shows 0%. But it used 17% more fuel than the Trangia. So hopefully this chart's starting to make a little sense to you now. So let's go to the carbon felt stove. The carbon felt stove uh, took 15% longer than the plain stove to boil two cups of water, but it used 11% more fuel than the Trangia to get the job done. The fiberglass stove, 1% longer to boil two cups of water than the plain stove, but um, used 21% more fuel than the Trangia. What does this all mean, <laughs> you ask? Well, it depends. It depends on what's important to you. Um, you know, if weight is the most important factor, soda can stoves, hands down, they're your choice. Um, they weigh less than a half ounce. It's hard to beat that. Um, if you don't care so much about weight, but conserving fuel is your primary concern, well then your Trangia is your bet because it's the most fuel efficient out of all of them. So go with the Trangia. Um, if boil time is king, you're gonna go with the plain stove right here. That's the one you're gonna use. Um, if you're someone who wants to kind of find the medium between the two extremes, well, make yourself a carbon fiber felt wick stove, and, and you'll find that somewhere in the middle in terms of performance. Now, well, for me, what I'm doing, since we're coming into summer, um, the waters are going to be warmer, the water in my pack's going to be warmer, um, ambient temperature's going to be warmer, it's not going to take as much fuel to get it uh, up to boiling. Uh, I put the plain stove in my cook kit. Now, when fall comes and things get a little little cooler and um, and it's gonna take longer to uh, to get things to boil to start with colder temperatures uh, I'm probably gonna put the carbon felt stove in um, just because I'll get more fuel efficiency that way and so I won't burn as much fuel to get the water to boil that's kind of where I'm at that's all subject change <laughs> ask me next week, I might give you a different answer. But there you have it. So we're done with the uh, soda can stove with a wick. I hope you liked it. If you did, please like and subscribe. Uh, and, and feel free to leave me comments. I really do appreciate it. And uh, I'm Sailor M591. And I'll see you in a bit.